Hello everybody, it's Rex here, and today we're checking out Transformers Studio Series number 86, Grimwalk! And if you hear the fan in the background, it's because it is a very whopping hot! Very whopping hot! And yep, you'll be hearing the fan for a few videos. But anyways, let's get in and check out Grimlock here, and he is very key. So here he is, and you will notice something right away. His eyes here are now painted red, for I like my Grimlock with red eyes. So I have given him the red eyes. I just simply unscrewed the screw back here, painted the visor in there, put the head back on, and boom. But he comes with blue eyes, and if you like the blue eyes, that's great. But me, I like my preferred eyes. So anyways, let's bring him in here and check out Mr. Grimlock. And yeah, he looks really, really good. I really, really like how he's turned out here. He is very, very, very nice. Very Grimlock. He is. He is very Grimlock. Very Gen 1 Grimlock, as he should be from the 86 movie. Yeah, this is a very, very good Grimlock. There's his back side there. Looks all nice and dandy right there. Oh, it looks nice. Very, very nice Grimlock. I'm very nicely painted down at the feet, all around, very nicely done. There's a nice side shot for him. Yeah, he's all pretty good for his articulation. He's got a ball joint up at the head so he can go la 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 And he has this cool little pivot up where you can tilt this up and he's got a little plastic there so it's not hollow there so you can have him actually look up a little bit more if you want to. If you pull too far, it does pop it. But, you know, here's that. For his arms, they spin the full 360, out and in, spin there, up there, bend there at the elbow, and the wrist swivel, which is very nice as well. He's got a nice waist swivel as well. Woo, look at that big spin. He also has a nice bend out there at the knee, which is pretty cool how they do that. Because normally with their leader class figures, they don't give them any ratchets outward for some reason, which is... Why the legs are always floppy, but for this, they did something different, which could have been a ratchet, but they did this instead, which is pretty ingenious. This is a bit of plastic right here, and as the leg goes out, it gets tighter and tighter as it goes, because the groove there goes in, and it just quick, gets nice and tight. So that's pretty nice. He's got a nice soft ratchet um, here, going forward and back, but it's tight enough to actually hold just fine. So that's pretty nice. He's got a ratchet there at the knee. Which is nice, he's got a nice bend there at the foot. When he does bend, it's not just cut off here and big, oh, hollow, knucky this. But you do bend it, and you got this little piece there, so you can get him into cool poses. And, yeah, that bit looks pretty nice, and it's very nicely appreciated. But that is it for Grimlock's articulation. And, yeah, he looks all around very, very nice. And he does come with one accessory, being his big old gun here. And it does look pretty cool, though he is missing a sword. So I got him an upgrade, little upgrade kit, which this is the sword. And it also looks pretty good. You may be wondering, where is the wheelie that came with this figure? Well, I'll put an image of it right here in case you're looking at it. Has no articulation really, just spins here up at the shoulders and there at the knees. And honestly, it's pretty useless to me. It doesn't transform. And I like my Transformers transforming, and yeah, I, I didn't like that wheelie. But the DNA upgrade kit for this Grimlock, which I already pre-ordered, and you can do so to the Big Bad Toy Store, it comes with an excellent wheelie that transforms, looks amazing. Definitely recommend that upgrade kit. Adds, and it, it helps Grimlock with the filling up the uh, holes there, which is the only thing I could complain about in this mood, really. And so, with that all out of the way, really quickly, you can just peg his gun, and if you do get an upgrade kit with a sword, you can have him like that, and oh, that looks good. Yeah, that looks very, very nice. And now we have moved on to the comparison part of the video. So very quickly here with the first comparison, we have Siege, Voyager Class Optimus Prime here next to 86 Leader Class Grimlock. So you can see there that Grimlock here is indeed nice and big compared to Optimus here. So that does look pretty good, and I think that scaling looks really nice as well. And for the next comparison, here's Power of the Prime Swoop and Power of the Prime Slash. So you can see how these two figures scale as well. I don't have any of the Power of the Primes Dino Bots just because they're all too tiny for me. Too small, too tiny. I like big boys, and I'm finally happy to see we've getting the big boys. So there's a nice little comparison there. Though I think Slash works really well with Grimlock. He just looks so cute together, don't they? And for the final comparison, here is Titan's Return Leader Class 6 Shot and Transformers Studio Series number 7, Grimlock, who is also a beautiful, beautiful Grimlock. Very, very cool figure. 
But this is a little comparison to show you the size of this leader class figure with a leader class of six shot and number seven through series Grimlock. And this Grimlock is the shortest out of the three here. He's shorter than six shot here and shorter than Grimlock, even if you put the little spiky down there. So I'm only counting the top of the heads here, not this bit. So even that Grimlock is still a wee little shorter, and I would have liked it if Grimlock was just, you know, the same height as Six Shot here or Grimlock here. It would have made him a nice taller figure, and unfortunately nowadays we don't get nice big leaders anymore like Six Shot or even Grimlock here. Grimlock's a nice good size leader figure, and I would have liked it if this guy was the same size as my other boy here. But besides that, yeah. He's a fine. He's, it's, it's, there you go. There's the final comparison. And now we move on to his transformation. And if you know anything about G1 Grimlock and his transformation, then this will be no surprise on how he transforms. So here we go. Let's do it. And here we have Grimlock in his T-Rex mode, and it is amazing. I love the transformation on this guy. It's almost like he's transforming from the show. It's very, very close to it, and it's amazing. And very quickly, you can take his Gion accessory here, and I think you can plug it on his leg if you want to do that. That's, that's something. But it's got these two little tabbies here, right, right there and there, and they plug into these two little slots there, there. So if you want to, you can store it on his back. If I can do it, let me just... <laughs> well, let me do it! Okay, it's very tight on mine, but there you go. You can get it plugged in here on his back for weapon storage if you want to. And the upgrade kit store doesn't really store anywhere, so you can just, uh, yeah. But anyways, with that out of the way, this is an amazing figure, and I also painted his eyes red. And if you want to do this, you just have to unscrew the holes on the side, pop the head apart, and you can easily do the eyes. But the eyes are blue. If you want to leave them blue, no big deal. You know, it's, it's up to you how you want to want your Grimlock to be, but I prefer them with red eyes. So anyways, we'll bring Grimlock in here for a quick overview look at him, and I think he turned out really, really, really nice. I think this is an amazing, amazing G1 looking Grimlock, and he just looks so, so good. Oh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. The only negative, the only negative thing that I have about Grimlock in this mode, let's see if I can't get this plugged in there better, there we go, is that he's got these unsightly screw holes on the side of his head. Would have been nice if those were covered up, and hopefully there's an upgrade kit that comes out soon that you can easily seal these up with. But yeah, besides that, this side looks great. So, yeah, but it would have been nice if this side was also covered up. But besides that, that's pretty sweet. Also, Grimlock was missing four teeth, which I also got an upgrade kit, which came with a sword, by the way, to fix this problem as well. So, yeah, Grimlock looks way better with those four teeth, and I highly recommend getting an upgrade kit just for that, if that bothers you like so me. But anywho, let's go over our Grimlock's articulation. Up here on the head, he can look up and down. I love that. I love it. I love it. Love it. His mouth can open and close. And if you do have a blast effect from the siege line, you can plug it in right there and he can be like, Beesh! so you can have a bean shooting a big old bean there. And he's got a ball joint here up in the shoulder. He can bend there at the elbow. And he can rotate a full 360 down to the legs. Nice bend as well, and it's also ratcheted, though on my side, this side is not ratcheted. This side is, this side isn't. Um, would have been cool if there was ankle pivot here, but it's fine. Um, the Clausies can still move in this mode, and the neck here can spin full 360. So all around a very nice poseable Grimlock here, and if you want to get his tail off the ground, what you want to do is use these back claws here to tilt them ever so slightly, and well, bam You can get Grimlock standing with his tail completely off the ground. And first up for comparison here is Grimlock next to how the Prime's Dinobots that I've got. So you can see how they scale there and I do think Slash scales pretty well with them still just because Slash is a raptor and being this small I think it works perfectly. So there you go with that. Next up we have Siege Optimus Prime with Grimlock here and you can see how they scale and Grimlock in this mode still stands taller than Optimus which is nice. You know he's not too short, not too big. And I think that still works pretty good, so you can see there. And this is Grimlock standing at full pose if you get him up all the way. 
so you can see that, you know, he how tall he can be if you have him up all the way. And finally, for comparisons, we have Transformers Studio Series number 7 Grimlock next to Transformers Studio Series number 86 Grimlock. And you can see them right here. And I will say that the number 7 Studio's Grimlock has definitely longer. You know, his tail's longer. Um, for standing up wise, um, Grimlock here actually is taller than uh, number 7 Grimlock here. Um, but you know, if you tilt them, they're pretty much the same height. But yeah, um, they do look pretty good together. And even though this one's more of the modern take of the T Rex with his two claws, more you know, standing vertically instead of horizontal, this this guy is still a great Grimlock. And I don't care about the three claws or any of that scientific stuff. I just like a nice Gen One Grimlock as well. And these two look pretty cool as well together. So that's a nice new comparison. And this has been a look at Transformers Studio Series number 86, Grimlock. I think this is an amazing, amazing Grimlock. 10 out of 10, 10 stars, gold medal, all the medals, just give them everything. Truly a master, masterpiece. I think this is a beautiful Grimlock figure. Oh, I love this Grimlock. I get jitters, I get happy every time I see this Grimlock, especially in the pose I have right now. It's just so cute. This is a great figure. Oh, it looks amazing. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And I'm very excited for the rest of the Studio Series 86 Dinobot line. Oh, I'm so happy. Are you excited? Let me know. And now I'm going to go hop in the refrigerator because I am melting, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Stay cool out there, and goodbye, everybody.